Yo guys, it's Slayer. You already know that today I'm going to be talking about all of the games that are coming out in 2024 that I have my eye on and that I'm looking forward to. Uh, in past years, I've done different videos like predicting what my top 10 favorite games would be or uh, ranking like what I'm most excited for. But this is just going to be a more casual video where I talk about the games that I have my eye on, which ones may work them, their way into being a full playthrough on the channel, uh, which ones will just be other random content, which ones I'll just play on my own time, which, spoiler alert, it's going to be a lot of them. Uh, this is also just going to be sort of like a, a check-in just for, you know, how the channel is doing, how I'm doing, and things that are going to stay the same or change. Uh, most of that is just going to be, uh, I don't know what's going to change or stay the same. I feel like my life, uh, has been changing a lot in the last couple months. The way that I've played video games has changed over the past year, um, and I want to try and find a way to be more on top of, uh, games that are coming out without burning myself out, um, and so... I, you know, I'm not going to promise one thing or another because I just kind of do whatever I feel like in a way that isn't going to burn myself out because at the end of the day, this is just a hobby. So anyway, uh, 2024, there's not a ton of games that I'm actually looking forward to. Uh, there are some that I have my eyes on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in chronological order. We're going to start with the ones that have release dates uh, and then I will just go uh, to all the ones that don't have specific release dates and I'll just talk about in alphabetical order which ones um, might, you know, uh, that I might play. So, uh, I don't have plans for most of these being playthroughs. I have some ideas for most of these to be turned into content, but I'm not going to promise anything because I don't want to break promises, so you know how that goes. If there's any game on here, or if there's any game that's not on here that you uh, want me to maybe look into, uh, feel free to suggest things in the comments. Uh, this is going to be a year of a lot of playthroughs from older games, I think, but maybe there will be a lot of surprising new releases, and uh, we'll see. But these are all the games that I have my eye on, so let's just talk about them one at a time, starting with the first one that's going to come out that I'm looking forward to, which is uh, Prince of Persia and the Lost Crown. This comes out in less than a week on January 18th. Uh, it looks really good. I don't have like a long storied history with the Prince of Persia franchise. Uh, I did play The Sands of Time on PS2 for a little bit. I never even beat it, but like I like the aesthetic. Uh, I just think that the game looks fun, and there's not much happening. Like I'm not playing any new games right now. Uh, I don't really have anything until then. I'm kind of just catching up on my backlog and just playing other random stuff. Uh, this is not going to be a full playthrough on my channel. Um, I'm not sure if I'll make a video on it or not. Uh, I'm sure you'll hear plenty about it, but especially if it's like really good, maybe you'll hear something about it from me. Um, but that's just something that I'm going to play. Uh, it comes out on January 18th and shouldn't. I'm hoping it doesn't take like too, too long to beat. So I think if I just focus my attention on it, that should be something that I should be able to get through. Uh, and it will be really, really good. So that's the first one. Uh, second one that I have my eye on is Persona 3 Reload. I have only ever played Persona 5 Royal. Uh, I do like it a lot, even though um, it's not my absolute favorite game of all time. Um, I, I struggled a little bit with, with some of the gameplay, just because I'm bad. Um, and, I mean, it is a time sink, but uh, I've been talked into checking out Persona 3 Reload. It is going to be on Game Pass, um, and I need a reason to keep using Game Pass. So it all kind of just culminates together into, um, yeah, I'm probably going to be playing it on my own time. Uh, it's probably just going to be something that I play in the background, and uh, it'll just be something that happens. I don't expect to talk about it. That's not really the type of content that uh, makes its way onto my channel. Uh, I don't really have the audience for that, and I, I don't know. I'm not, like, the biggest Persona fanboy, and I don't have a lot of critiques of the series either, so it's just kind of there, and I'm going to check it out and see how I like it. So... That's something. Uh, the big one for this year is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, what I expect to be the best game of the year. We'll see. That comes out February 29th. And I'm just going to play it on my own time. Uh, I haven't played any Final Fantasy on the channel. Um, I really liked Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, definitely one of my favorite games, but I mean, that's never turned into content before. It would be weird to start now. Um, and I don't know. I, I feel like there's just a certain type of game that I like for, for, for my playthroughs. This isn't it. Um, but I expect it to be, like, a flawless video game, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I've never played the original Final Fantasy VII, so I don't have any expectations in terms of, um, what they're going to change about the story, because I don't even really know the original story all that well. So, um, I think it's just going to be a good ride for me, no matter what, and, uh, that is something that I will be playing on my own time. The only one, well, okay, the only one with a release date that I'm definitely planning to do a playthrough of, um, is a game called Unicorn Overlord, which is coming out on March 8th. And it is a tactical role-playing game uh, that just has a really interesting art style. Uh, I do like my tactics RPGs. 
Um, I, I think it looks pretty interesting. I think it looks a little confusing, honestly, but I'm hoping that the game sort of explains its systems pretty well. Uh, it just, it, it fits that sort of, you know, random medieval fantasy aesthetic that I have played before. Um, I, I think of something like Triangle Strategy um, or like Fire Emblem. Uh, it doesn't look like it has the same style of gameplay as either of those, but it does look like to sort of fit that same sort of world aesthetic. Um, and I'm interested to see how this goes. And because that comes out like a week after Final Fantasy uh, Rebirth, if I don't do this as a playthrough on my channel, then I'm probably not going to get around to it at all because I can only play so many games on my own time. I tried last year too many times. I was trying to juggle like three or four games at a time and it did not go well. Um, so I would like to sort of break it up in a way where... Uh, if I'm playing multiple ga new games, I would like one of them to be a playthrough, one of them to just be on my own time. So Unicorn Overlord, look forward to that. Um, I won't promise a full playthrough because if I don't click with it, then I can just drop it at any time. Uh, but I, that is a game that I'm planning on getting and I will do a playthrough of. Uh, after that, that's March 8th. There is nothing with, the, with a release date that I care about until August 20th, which is Black Myth Wukong, which is a Souls-like action RPG. That looks really, really incredible uh, based on uh, some Chinese, you know, the popular like Chinese novel or uh, myth or whatever it is. Um, it just looks really cool. It looks really good. The biggest thing is going to be how does the combat feel? Uh, I'm not sure if I would do a full playthrough of this or not. I might. I've done games like it in the past. Uh, however, if the combat doesn't feel all that satisfying, it could end up being a flop. So I might wait to see and hear more until... Uh, closer to the game's release. Maybe there'll be a demo. Maybe it'll be like um, early, you know, people that get their hands on the game early that uh, whose opinions I trust that will be able to say whether it's worth getting or not. But that is a game that I have my eye on. And that is the last game that has a release date in 2024 that I care about. I don't know if you can count, but that was five games. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> I was excited for a lot more last year. And then I ended up playing even more than that last year. This year... I am trying to, you know, not put too many things on my plate, but right now I'm at five games and one of them doesn't even come out to August. So that's what I'm looking at right now. Uh, but there are a couple other games that I have my eyes on uh, that do not have a release date that who knows, maybe, maybe I'll play, maybe I won't, we'll see. It just depends on if we hear more about them or not. Uh, so from here until the rest of the list, uh, it's just going to be in alphabetical order. And the first one that I'm going to talk about is Beastie Ball, which uh, was a game that was announced in the Summer Games Fest in 2023. So like last year, like six months ago, whatever that was. Um, and it, it's like a it looks kind of like a mixture of like like a Pokemon creature collection type thing. Uh, but then you bring these creatures to play volleyball matches. It, it's a super weird concept that just I've never seen anything like it. And I'm interested, you know, maybe it'll be fun. Maybe it won't come out at all. I have no idea. Uh, games like this with like, it's had one announcement and I don't know if it's been like, you know, ha had like a lot of uh, developments since or not, but it has an interesting concept that I think looks pretty cool. So sure, I mean, I I'll check it out. <laughs> so we'll, I'll keep my eye on that to see whenever that comes out. Uh, the next game that I'm keeping my eye on, which is an absolute, will be a playthrough if it comes out in 2024 and that is Earthblade. The only thing that I know about Earthblade is that it's from the same makers that made Celeste. Celeste is one of my favorite games of all time, uh, and Earthblade looks to be a similar style of game, and so I only expect it to be an incredible game. If there was any game that comes out in 2024 that could challenge Final Fantasy uh, Rebirth for like game of the year, Earthblade could take it for me. We'll see. Um, that's that's the sort of expectations that I have for it. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but if it comes out in 2024, I will do a play full playthrough of it, uh, but I haven't really heard much about it um recently so i think the the last time i saw it was um yeah there was a there was a some footage at the game awards in 2022 so that was a year and a half ago um or yeah a little over a year ago and i haven't really heard much about it since so um hoping that it's you know making progress there uh but if it does come out i expect it to be a high quality game uh the next game that i kind of have my eyes on though i'm mm, you know, a little hesitant, is Flintlock The Siege of Dawn. That is a game that I think it was announced ooh, 2022, 2021. I feel like it's been a minute uh, since there was a trailer, but it was, uh, okay, it was. It looks like it was uh, officially announced on March 14th, 2022. I have some information pulled up on uh, in the background. I haven't really seen much about it since, but it is like an action RPG. Uh, it looks to be sort of fast-paced, uh, Souls-like-ish, but maybe a little bit more like long-range stuff, like guns type 
thing um, with other stuff. And it should, I assume, be a Game Pass game. Uh, I think that was also one of the things that drew me to it. Um, so if that is the case and it does come out and is on Game Pass, then I might play it. I don't think this would be a game that I would do a playthrough of because I have low expectations for it. Mostly because it was announced and then I haven't really seen much since and it just keeps getting delayed. And games like that uh, don't have a good track record of being good. So yeah, but it's there. I have my eyes on it. I'll see uh, about it, but I won't even guarantee that I will play that. Um, only a couple more games to go. Another one that I'm keeping my eyes on is Hades 2. I played the first Hades on my Twitch channel when I was streaming for a little bit um, last year. And uh, I thought it was incredible. I think Hades is a fantastic game. And I think Hades 2 will just be just as good. Uh, I don't expect to do a full playthrough just because none of that content ever actually made it to my YouTube channel. Um, but I will definitely probably make videos at least talking about it or at least like checking it out. Um, but it's it's kind of the game, it's the type of game that I'd rather just throw on uh, and just sort of vibe with um, and go through it like that. So hopefully that does come out in 2024. I think. The thing is, I think it's going to come out in early access in 2024, and I don't know uh, if I will wait for it to be, like, fully, fully released, which probably won't be this year, um, or if I will just start playing it as soon as it's in early access. I have no idea. Um, but I have my eyes on it, and I expect it to be a high-quality game. The next game that I have my eyes on uh, is Harmonium the Musical, which is a game that was just announced at the Game Awards like a month ago, um, that stars a, uh, a girl who is deaf uh, and is like making music. Um, the music sounded really good in the trailer, uh, and I think it's a really interesting looking game, and is also apparently might be coming to Game Pass. Uh, so if it comes to Game Pass, then there's basically no reason to not at least check it out. Um, because the music sounded great, and, uh, I think it's really cool the way that it looks like it's handling, uh, you know, like a, a deaf protagonist. I think all of the, uh, dialogue story stuff is done in, like, sign language. Um, I don't know. I think it's really neat. It's really interesting. And, um, I might check it out. Especially if it comes to Game Pass, and, uh, if it comes out at a time when I'm not playing, like, too many other things. So, I have my eyes on that. I think it will be pretty interesting, at least. Uh, the next game that I am at least keeping my eyes on, uh, is Hellblade 2. Uh, Senua Saga, um, that is the sequel to uh, Hellblade Senua Sacrifice, which I have not played yet, but it is on Game Pass, and I hope to get around to it soon. Hopefully, uh, I will play that, and if I like it, then I will play the sequel. If I don't like it, then you can disregard this, and I won't play it at all. Uh, but from the little I know of the first game, it sounds like something that I'll be really into, so assuming that that's the case, then I will be playing the second game. I'll just play it on my own time, um, but it seems like something that I might like. And uh, that'll be cool. So we'll see how that goes. And the final game that I have my eyes on is Stellar Blade. Stellar Blade is uh, a PS5 exclusive action adventure game. Um, it looks pretty interesting. I think there's been some pretty consistent development throughout since it's been announced. I think it was announced a couple years ago. And there's been some, you know, little things here and there to uh, give me a little bit of hope that it will come out as a quality game. But who knows? But I have my eyes on it and hopefully that is good. Uh, but that is the last game that I have. That is another game that I probably just play on my own time. Maybe make a video about it. But again, I don't have a whole lot of full playthroughs planned. Um, so I, I don't know. There might be times where I don't, I'm not doing a playthrough at all. There might be times where I'm doing one playthrough, two playthroughs. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, these are all the games that I have on my list. These are things that I'm looking at and pique my interest. If there's anything that I did not mention that you think I should be looking into, uh, feel free to suggest it. I have done a lot of research to try and find games that look interesting to me. I usually watch, um, you know, different showcases, uh, game awards, summer games fest, uh, indie showcases. Like I, I watch like basically all of them just to see if there's anything that piques my interest. And then I usually try and just look up information every so often just to see updates on said games. Uh, and that is how I've arrived at the list that I had today. But that doesn't mean that I didn't skip over things that might be genuinely interesting. Uh, any other games that I play are probably just going to be word of mouth, and because you know how that is, a, a game that'll come out that nobody talked about before, and then all of a sudden everyone's talking about how great it is, and um, yeah, word of mouth is powerful, and I'm down to let that happen as it does. Um, I think that will help if I keep gaps in my my uh, my uh, gaming schedule for stuff like that. That way things that um, happened in like September uh, don't happen again, where like there was Starfield, and then it was like, oh, people started talking about Sea of Stars, and oh, like, 
Liza P is really good. And oh, uh, Spider Man 2 is just about to come out. And oh, Super Mario's Wonder is like, all these things just happen back to back to back. And I'm like, okay, there's too many things happening at once. Uh, I should have played for this better. I didn't. So I'm trying to plan for it better this year so I don't uh, fall behind on too many games. But at the same time, I don't want to overload myself and burn myself out. So yeah, this is, uh, this is just all the games that I'm looking forward to. This is me talking about. Uh, I haven't really said much of any thing specific in terms of um, the content that I plan on doing because it's it's going to be kind of the same, but it might be different. Uh, I'm kind of just going to do what I want uh, because I just don't want to burn myself out uh, and make this YouTube thing be something that is like a chore or like work because I'm not making m much money from it. So why would I bother? <laughs> why would I bother doing it if it was like not fun? Uh, so I just want to make sure I don't burn myself out, uh, and that is why playthroughs are going to be who knows what. Um, but that, most of these games won't be playthroughs, but I'll see if I can make content about most of them. That way I can keep you guys in the loop as to what I am playing. Um, and yeah, that's about all I have to say. So let me know some of the games that you're most looking forward to, and um, I will see you all around for any of these games and other playthroughs that I do. Which, like I said, I'm going to be doing playthroughs of a lot of older stuff that I've been wanting to get around to and haven't gotten the chance. And uh, I think it should be a really exciting year. I'm looking forward to 2024. Hopefully you all are as well. If so, let me know. But I will see you all around. So till then, peace out.